Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um, it's Sunday night and I wanted to share really quick some projects that I created using my favorite flower buttons by Bona. She is Live Love Scrap here on YouTube. On Instagram, she is Bona Rivera Tran and she makes and sells the cutest flare buttons, um, custom designs. So if there's anything special you're looking for, I'm sure that she can, um, she can make it for you. And um, so this time around, I wanted to use some of the Hello Kitty buttons that she sent in uh, with the design team package. And they're so cute, so fun. So I used some of the Hello Kitty. And then I also used uh, some of these fun doodle bug design ones. And I love these. I'm loving all the, the crafty images, little craft tote, scissors, um, typewriter. And this one here with a little thread. So these were just so fun and so cute to work with. And then I also used um, some other items that she always includes um, and hooks us up on her design team. So um, just different items to use with the buttons. So thank you so much for that, Bona. So for my first project, I did share this a couple weeks ago on Instagram. I wanted to make um, some of these little milk cartons that I've been seeing on Instagram and they're really cute just kind of um, small and skinny little milk curtains so I made a set of four and then I just kind of measured it out and created a little crate for the milk cartons and this is using an older um, doodle bug paper that I had in my stash it's uh, cream and sugar and it has lots of coffee images and hearts and stuff so perfect for Valentine's Day and then I had to use this adorable super cute I was so happy when I saw this because it matches the paper I mean perfectly this cute little doodle bug frappuccino drink here so cute so I just die cut this little doily that had um, little hearts on the edge added a glittery heart die cut and then uh, put that cute button in the center and I think it finishes it off just really cute and these actually fit quite a lot um, they fit the one inch buttons so you can stack quite a few buttons in there uh, this die this side over here has some bling uh, like a bling sheet that I cut up and put in there um, in this one I plan to put some sequins in here and then over here either a charm or chapstick or something would fit perfect so I thought that was cute so there's my first little project and then I was going through um, just some things that I've had forever and I kept the packaging just so you could see but I had one of these like cell phone charms from Daiso from a while ago just in my stash and then I found this pack of um, feather charms I think from Michaels from a long time ago but there was two of these little feather charms but I thought I could make them you know super cute by adding buttons so here is the this one was the cell phone charm from Daiso so I just ended up using the tassel and the chain that it came with um, I took off the initial and another little plastic piece that attaches to the cell phone but look at how cute this is I love this has to be um these are some of my favorite um in the Hello Kitty buttons that bonus sent this cute little pastel hamburger super cute so I just added it to one of the flat back pieces that she included and then added some charms and then I thought these were really fun with Hello Kitty the little flower and grapes kind of whimsical and just fun and cute and then I added um, a bigger little um, lobster clasp there so this one I did in gold I thought it was so cute I just love love these little these flare buttons so here's the other one the little matching french fries again so cute super super cute adorable so I just added it to another um, flat back um, a piece I, I'm not sure um, bail I guess it's a big bail for the buttons so there's that super cute and then here's that feather and then I just added um, you know some other little charms I had 
and my stash, not charms, beads, wire wrap beads. And then I had this little, um, this acrylic candy bead. So I thought that was fun. And this one I did in silver. So I added a, a bigger silver clasp there. So there's that one. So cute. I just, I love those ones. And then this one I thought would be really fun. Um, I had, I've had these in my stash too for a while. They're um, bows. It was just a big pack of like wooden uh, bow pieces, I think, from Michaels or Joann's from a while ago. But um, it has quite a, quite a few in the pack. So, and I think three, at least three different designs. But this one here on the top um, really reminds me of the Hello Kitty bow. So I thought it would be fun to make like a little DIY kit. I included um, two of these ones and then two of the ones with the tails. Um, so the recipient can alter them and have fun, like a little kit. And then I included some of the Hello Kitty buttons and some glue dots like Bona does. And then here's one that I altered. I put it on top of the little bag. So I just um, ended up painting it and adding some clear glitter to the top and then some little um, like little pieces from one of my confetti shaker bits. And then for this one, I thought it was super cute, um, mostly because of the colors that matched, but this little doodle bag watercolor image, so cute. And I just did some stitching around the little bag, added um, Nouveau dots there. And I thought it was just a fun little, like, DIY um, little package to include in some happy mail. So that's how that's going out. And let me see. Put it over here so you can see the bow. So there's that one. And then this idea is totally inspired by my crafty bestie, Armin, happy mail queen. Hey, girl. So um, a while back, she gave me this really cute little um, zippered bag um, to hold like earbuds, which I use all the time. And of course, I couldn't find it. I might have it at work, at my desk at work. But I saw these little bags in the party section. Um, they're actually little party favors for, um, like, birthday parties and things. So these are from Walmart, and it came in a set of four of these little bags. And they're really cute. Um, silver, pink, white, and blue. And I just, they reminded me of that little bag that um, Armin gifted me. So I thought I would do the same thing. And I ended up using the, the little clear, I think they're clear coin containers, but they make really cute, um, shaker containers and then just add a button and added a little bling to the buttons. So super cute. And then just added some, some little beads there, wire wrap beads and a little clasp to attach it to the zipper on the little bag and then here is a silver one same thing so I just um there it is so this one I used the doodle bug sewing machine added another little bling there some little shaker bits oh and then the clear bale to hang it wire wrap beads and then this one's the little silver one like I said so there's that, and then I did the white one. And this one, um, the little image on the button is the pink glue gun with that cute little doodle bug face. These are just so fun. I really am loving the images on the doodle bug buttons. So cute, little bling, and some more beads. So there's that. So those are my little projects. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll leave bonus information in the description box below in case you want to um, shoot her a message and uh, place an order for some custom flare buttons. Um, thank you so much, guys. I had so much fun. And this is just, um, oh my gosh, I, I really did have fun. I needed to sit down and just enjoy creating. So... Um, I had so much fun making um, these cute little things with the buttons. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.